Jimmy, what's going on? It's your girl D here with Eighth House Energy. Here to bring you another reading for March 2021. I hope all is well in the Gemini community. I do appreciate the love and support that you show to the channel. Thank you so much for all that you do. And then the ways that you do it. Thank you. If you're new to the channel, make sure that you subscribe. Hit that notification bell. I post for every placement in your chart every week. So just keep in mind that if it doesn't resonate, you can always check your other placements. Something's bound to resonate. Not all of it will resonate. Maybe a part of it will. But again, just take what does leave the rest. Alright, so we got person A and person B. Now this is going to be about you and your partner. This could be somebody you're currently with. This could be somebody that you were with in the past. Okay, This could be something that could happen in the future with somebody that you may be with. Okay, just take it how it resonates. Okay, so that's person A's cards. Now let's get person B's cards out. Now uh, there's going to be an extended to this reading. The link's going to be in the box below. Okay, if you need a personal, the reading information, or well, the private reading information is in the box below. Alright, Gemini Energy, you and your person. Four cards, please, for Gemini. Gemini and their person. Thank you. Just one too many. Gemini and their person. One more. So the top two rows here and here, this is how person A feels about person B. These two cards are how person B feels about person A. The two cards at the bottom for each person represents how the action each person took towards the other. Okay? I hope that's clear. Now, person A, let's start with them. The overall energy for their spread, the page of cups. Okay, this is... Cancerian energy with the Page of Cups. Pages to me are either messages or kids or children. So it could be a message of a child too. But um, let's see how it relates. So we got the Two of Cups in reverse, more Cancerian energy. And the Nine of Wands, which is Sag energy. So how does Person A feel overall about Person B? Well, we got the Two of Cups in reverse and the Nine of Wands. I feel as though person A is just not interested in person B. There could be a lot of fights, arguments, or it could just be all of us, there's just no interest here, okay? Uh, the actions that person A has taken, King of Wands in reverse, Leo, Two of Coin in reverse, Capricorn. So with the Knight of Wands in reverse, hmm. So, okay, <laughs> person A is looking at person B like, I know that you're dealing with someone or you got something going on with somebody. Why are you not telling me? Why are you hiding it from me? Or person A could be hiding something from person B. They could be hiding that they have a child with someone else or they could be hiding that they're communicating with someone else, okay? Person B overall energy is the Ten of Swords, Gemini energy. So we have the Six of Wands, Leo, the Five of uh, Pentacles in reverse, that's Taurus. So the overall actions for person A or the overall feelings for person B in reference to how they feel about person A. I feel like person B wants to win person A back. And the actions that person B is taking is the, the Knight of Cups, which is Pisces, and then the Knight of Wands. So they're going to offer a cup. They want to offer a cup. 
<laughs> they want to offer a cup. Um, but there's Ten of Swords energy here. Okay, so Person B just wants to have fun. Person A knows this and Person A is like, I'm not interested in just the one night stand type of thing. You know, I'm not interested in the page of, page of cup type energy here. You know, I'm looking for a knight of cup, <laughs> at least minimum. So here, here comes person B with a knight of cup. <laughs> so it's like, okay, you want a knight? Okay, I'll bring you a knight. But the thing is, is that I don't feel like person B wants anything serious. I feel like person B could be dealing with someone else. Or it's suspected that they're dealing with someone else. I do feel a player energy here with the Six of Wands and the Knight of Wands for Person B. And then with this Ten of Swords here, they're not honest. They don't communicate effectively. But I feel like Person A and Person... Well, Person A and Person B have dealt with each other. And then they went their separate ways. But Person B wants to come back. So let's get some clarity here. Person B... Person B wants to come back to person A. But per <clears throat> what's this two of cups in reverse here? For person A, what's the two of cups in reverse? We got the Empress in reverse. So let's clarify this nine of wands. one too many. What's the Knight of Wands? Thank you. The Knight of Wands with the Knight of Wands. Um, the Nine of Wands with the Nine of Wands. So, I feel like this is an energy of someone who's not interested in getting pregnant. Not interested in having a baby. Because we got the Empress energy in reverse and then this page, this page of Cups. And then we got the Nine of Wands. To me, that's talking about protection. This Empress in reverse energy, she could represent motherhood, but she's in reverse, meaning that this is somebody that um, you're not married to or that you haven't been with in a long time, for a long time, which is why we got the Two of Cups in reverse here. This could be a baby mother, somebody that they're not with anymore, but let's get more clarity here. What's this King of Wands in reverse? We got the Wheel of Fortune energy here. Sagittarius. I'm sorry, Jupiterian energy. And what's this two of coins? That's one too many. We got the King of Cups in reverse. Scorpionic energy. With the two of coin in reverse. So that's definitely player energy right there. So, uh, person A doesn't want anything serious. They don't want any children. And so they um they are definitely, you know, just out here to have fun. This is what the Page of Cups is. They're they're not interested in offering any more than Page of Cups energy. That's how person A feels. They're not interested in having any kids. Um, they're not interested in anything serious. They're kind of blocked off and guarded as far as anybody really, you know, getting to them in that way. And that's how they feel. So let's take a look at person B. Person B knows person A doesn't want to come back, but I believe person B wants wants person A to come back. So they're gonna offer their they're gonna offer them a one night stand. Or, you know, they're gonna person B is gonna submit to what person A wants. Person A doesn't want a relationship, but person B is gonna be okay with that. Alright, so we got the Six of Wands clarified with, oh, that's one too many. Six of Wands clarified with the Five of Cups in reverse, Scorpionic energy. So this, yeah, definitely a player energy, very unapologetic. Um, they don't care about the hearts they break, Number two, uh, person number B or letter B. 
with the five of pentacles in reverse we have that clarified with the tower energy okay so this is a shock they want to come back though they want to come back to person a yeah person b is usually the player type doesn't want to settle down the actions they're taking is that they're going to reach out to person a and offer a cup with the knight of cups we have that clarify with the six of pentacles in reverse What's this Knight of Wands? You know, that clarified with judgment in reverse. So the universe is saying that person B is making the wrong decision. Person B has the wrong intentions. Person B's overall energy is the Ten of Swords. So I don't know if they're feeling betrayed by person A. Yeah, they are. They're feeling betrayed by person A because we got the Six of Wands here clarified with the Five of Cups reverse. To me, the Five of Cups had to be upright first, which means somebody was mourning the loss or the grief of a relationship or a connection. All right, so that was person B, okay, because they had to, they eventually got over it. Yeah, see, with the Six of Wands, they got over it. It was a heartbreak. And then we got the Five of Pentacles reversed with the Tower energy. But somebody wants to come back. They got over it, but they still want to go back. And the actions they're taking is they're going with the Knight of Cups energy, but they're going with the Six of, of, of Pentacles in reverse. So I feel like they're going back for revenge. This is why we got the overall energy of the Ten of Swords here for Person B. Person B's heart got broken by Person A. Person B wants to go back. They want revenge. We got the Knight of uh, Wands here and the Judgment in Reverse. Yeah, this person is pissed. They want revenge. They want it to be, you know, quick, swift. Get it done. Get it out of the way. Yep. So somebody definitely wants revenge here. Now, what they want revenge for. Let's go back over here to Person A. So, we got the Two of Cups with the Empress in reverse. Okay, they don't want to be in a relationship with them. Yeah, I feel like they don't want to be in a relationship with them because they know that they're manipulative energy. Person A already knows what time it is with Person B. They know that they're not going to have any luck with them. Oh, wow. Why? Okay. Why does person B want revenge, though? I just feel an energy of revenge. It's, it's because they were turned down. That's why. But I don't think they wanted anything serious anyway. Yeah, it's ego-driven. So with person A, we have the Page of Cups, the High Priestess, the Knight of Wands, the Two of Wands reversed, and the Eight of Coins. So Page of Cups, the High Priestess, and the Knight of Wands. So it's like, I feel like person A is just, you know, they're being nice to person B. You know, they'll be cordial with them. Like, they may take a phone call or two. But they know what person B wants. They know person B just wants to come in and have sex and then go on about their business. They already know that. That's why they're not going to put in any energy or effort into person B. <laughs> So it's like person A already sees person B coming. So we got the Ten of Swords, the the uh, Queen of Swords, the Four of Wands reverse, the Empress in reverse, and the Star card. So with the Ten of Swords and the King of Swords, yeah, see what's with the Queen of Swords. So what's going on is person B, they want to get back with person A just to cut them off. I don't know why. It could be that person B could be married. Person A may have dealt with them, but then said, no, I don't want to deal with them. Because we got this Empress energy in reverse. Maybe person A wants something that, yeah, person A may want something that's that can grow. It doesn't look like they can't get anything from person B. Person B's already, I believe, with someone else. And so person B may be mad about that because person A doesn't want to be with them. 
But with the Four of Wands reverse, yeah. See, with the Four of Wands in reverse and then the um, Empress energy again in reverse. And the Star energy. Hmm. I feel the energy of jealousy. I feel like person B is jealous of person A. It could be because of finances. Because we got the Empress in reverse twice and then the Star card. So it could be about money. They may be trying to set them up for, for something. Money or something like that. So we're going to go to the extent and find out what's going on. We're going to find out how person A and B actually feel about each other. Uh, who's going to reach out to who? I feel like person B is scheming on person A. This is why person um, A is so defensive with the Nine of Wands in reverse twice. They're, they're really defensive. Um, they like blocked. The, I feel like they could have blocked person B. Like maybe blocked them so that they can't reach out to them. No phone calls or anything like that. Because they've already been through this with person B before. With the Wheel of Fortune and the King of Wands. They've already been through this with this person. And with the Two of Coins in reverse and the King of Cup reverse, person A already knows that person B is dealing with someone else. With the Two of Coins in reverse. This is why I said person B may be married. Or they have a, a child's father or a child's mother that they still deal with. They've, de they've been with this person or known this person at least 10 years. With the Empress energy, that's at least 10 years deep. So yeah, I feel like person B is upset because person A left them alone. So with that being said, if this resonates as is, feel free to click the like button. If you want to leave a comment on how it resonates, please feel free to do so with the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell. If this didn't resonate, don't worry. Check your other placements. You're not just uh, Gemini. So with that being said, I'm going to go to the extended, the links in the box below. Hopefully I'll see you there. If not, I'll see you in the next reading. Peace out, Gemini.